for eyes today. I'm actually really excited because this is kind of be a first impressions review of a new eyeshadow palette that actually just launched, I think a couple weeks ago, I wanna say. I haven't seen too many videos on this yet. This is the Saharan by Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It's their newest palette they have in their collection. Now, if you're not familiar with Juvia's Place, they are a eyeshadow company. They do also have brushes. Um, I don't think they specialize in anything else. I think eyeshadow is what they specialize in and what they're more known for. They have beautiful eyeshadow palettes, you guys. I have their original one, which is more of just the all kind of neutral gold orangey brown colors. That palette I absolutely love as well. It's a great neutral palette. So this is $28 and I actually used a 10% discount. So I got $2.80 off. So I actually ended up paying $30.20 with the $5 shipping. This is what it looks like when you open it. It's just super beautiful. I post a picture of it on my Instagram. So if you aren't following my Instagram, go check it out. I'll leave it right here somewhere in this video. So you can go ahead and see that. But this is what it looks like. It looks pretty much almost like the original that they have, which is a green colored uh, packaging. But um, this is obviously just more of like a red orange coral color. And then it has such beautiful colors. I was drawn to this palette mainly for these orangey kind of um, rust colors. I think they're just so beautiful. And then I love this nice lime shimmery green color and after just looking at all the colors i just really really love it and i'm so excited when i got it because i'm gonna go ahead and use my milani retouch and reu or i'm sorry my retouch and erase uh lightning concealer this is actually a, a newer item from milani But yeah, I have used this already one time. I used it in my most recent video, which is just a Valentine's video. So if you don't have any Valentine's looks and you guys need some ideas, go check out that video. Um, hopefully it's inspirational for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dip into another Milani product. This is a Milani single eyeshadow and this is in the color Bella Ivory. And it's just a really kind of nice satin, pearlized looking eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as my setting powder for the concealer and i'm just using it on my morphe m208 very flat and condensed shader brush Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the Saharan by Juvia's Place palette. So beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this color right here called Katsina. Katsina, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But it's just this kind of brown, that's like muted brown color. I'm just gonna use that as my first transition color. And I'm gonna grab my Sigma E05 Holy Grail brush. And this is my first time dipping into this palette. I have not dipped into it yet. I really love this Milani single eyeshadow because it just makes the other shadows go on so perfectly. Like this is, this is just gliding on like butter. So a little information on the eyeshadow since this is the first time I'm using it. Um, they are great. I'm not having any issues with the blending. The pigmentation is great. I've only had to dip in twice to really build up to the color intensity that I want, which is really nice. They blend so easily, there's no chalking, there's no caking of any kind. It's just really nice color payoff. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color Jamila, Jamila, this nice really orange. It's like an actual true kind of brown orange. It's, it's actually really pretty. So I'm gonna use this Morphe M200 fluffy brush and this is what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna and then I'm gonna focus the most intensity on the outer corner and then I'm gonna slowly drag whatever I have left on the brush in. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the synagogue color. It's just a gold metallic taking this crown brush that came part of a set it's a synthetic, but I love to use synthetics for more pigmented shadows like shimmer or uh, metallic because it just really helps pack on the product without taking away from it. So I start in the inner corner of my eye and you can see it's super pigmented with just the brush and no fix plus. I do go and I spray some fix plus 
on it afterwards. That's pretty much what it looks like. I'm really, really liking it. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out the crease so everything kind of looks seamless. I'm taking the first brush I used for my transition color to just buff out the top. There are, there's no added product to it. Go in with the other brush that I was using for that orange and I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that Jamila, Jamila, I'm saying that right, and then just kind of blend it just so we don't lose that crease color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna coat my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous, or Voluminous Carbon Black. This is my holy grail mascara and what I use all the time on my channel. I love to try new things. Mascaras though, I don't really try unless I get like a sample one I really like and then I'll buy like the full size one, but for the most part, I kind of stick to what I know. ahead and do my falsies now i'm going to try out these again these are the iconic lashes by house of lashes i think they look so beautiful in the box but for some reason i tried these on my eyes and i hated them i tried it one time with eyeliner and i absolutely hated it i felt like it just really overtook my eye so i was like you know what let me try them without liner maybe it'll look a lot better so i tried them without liner and they just were not working with me i don't know if i was just having a bad eyelash day or what but I'm going to try them again. This is what they look like. Super pretty. So I like to first apply the middle and then I'll go ahead and just work on the ends. And what's uh, difficult about these as well is the band is a lot thicker. So it's a band that I'm not used to using. So the, this part right here, the inside is just not working with me. So I think that's the best I'm going to get it. I'll go ahead and use the kind of special eyelash tweezer to just um, clamp my lashes together to just make them look more natural. I don't know how I feel about these guys. I feel like they're just too thick of a band for my eyes and it just makes my eyes look small. Okay, so I went ahead and got the lashes on. I don't really know how I feel about these, honestly. They don't really do anything for me as far as me being like, wow. Um, but this is what they look like on. I'm hoping they look better once I put the rest of my makeup on. I honestly feel like these are just a little too, too much for my eyes. I am going to go ahead, and since I prepped my skin already, I'm going to go straight into my foundation. I'm going to use two foundations today. I'm going to use the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 122 Creamy Beige. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the color NC20. with this L'Oreal sponge um, it's only eight dollars and it's amazing it's an amazing dupe for the beauty blender I think in my opinion it's so squishy it's bouncy it's just an amazing drugstore sponge I love it even better than the real technique sponge I'm gonna have to go stock up on more of them okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face so I'm using the hard candy sheer envy instant under eye primer corrector whatever you want to call it it's basically just going to help hydrate and cool and get rid of any type of puffiness that i may have under my eyes and it's just such a great kind of primer for my concealer as, as well i feel like you, this really does help with any type of caking it helps with just not um making my concealer look too much it just does a really good job of, of hydrating my under eye area and i really really do love it and it's only six bucks at walmart and then i'm gonna go ahead and conceal i'm using the new milani um what is this like the correcting conceal concealer it's just this cool little tube and i actually really do like it it has good coverage you can definitely build it to a fuller coverage if you want to that's kind of what i did i did a medium to a fuller coverage but it is really great it doesn't crease it doesn't um break apart it does last all day long. I haven't. I didn't have any issues. I've used this. Um, this is the second time I've used this, and I ended up really, really liking it. Awesome. Okay, so I wasn't recording, unfortunately. Um, so what I did, I'm just gonna talk you through it really quick. I went ahead and applied my Cover Matte Setting Powder. I love to use this with a brush, and I went ahead and set my under eye area wherever I put the concealer. So my under eye area, my T zone. I went ahead and I used my 
ME3 brush and it's just kind of like a medium size uh, setting or tapered brush. Most people would use this for setting. So I just lightly tapped underneath my eyes a couple times using the most product right underneath my eye. And then I kind of just tapped out the rest of my area in like a triangular form. Since it is a matte powder, I only use that in my T-zone area because that is where I get the most oily. And I went ahead and set the rest of my face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. And this is in color medium and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite, favorite all over the face setting powder because it just gives pretty much that nice um, finishing setting touch without being overly powdered or looking like too much but still gives you that coverage if that makes sense i'm taking my contouring palette by wet n wild this is the dulce de leche and this is more for like the uh light to medium skin tones so i'm just taking that bronzer and i'm just literally bronzing keeping the most product in the back and kind of just bringing whatever's left on the brush out lately i haven't really been into um contouring so much I've literally just been bronzing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do blush now. And I'm going to use the Morphe 9N blush palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go in with the color... I'm going to go in with the lightest color today. going to take some of this orangey color right here and I'm going to use that as a kind of like a bronzer slash blush color and kind of focus that higher on top just because I kind of want to use it as a highlight as well. I'm just going to grab the color Jamila and smoke out my bottom lash line. <laughs> Take this wada be color, a would be, would buy this kind of green uh, metallic color. I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner as well, just to see how it looks. It's showing up really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and just coat my bottom lash with some mascara. I'm just gonna grab my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the last um, part of my face besides my lips really quick. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna do them off camera because it takes me a while and I don't really wanna waste time filming that. If you wanna see an in-depth brow tutorial from me, Please comment down below. I will definitely love to do that for you guys. I don't think I've ever done one on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that really quickly and I'll be right back. There are my brows. They're now on. Um, I just went ahead and used my Anastasia Brow Definer in the color Ebony. Now I'm going to go ahead and just set my brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Gel, which I absolutely love as well. It's so I went ahead and grabbed one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. This is by the brand Ofra. It's the Kathleen Lights. A collaboration and this is the color Miami Fever. Oh my god, my lips are so chapped. I have a really bad habit of picking at my lips, so I don't realize how bad my lips are until I put on a liquid lipstick. <sighs> oh, I didn't even do a highlight, guys. I need to do a highlight. Okay, so for my highlight today, because I got ahead of myself, I'm going to be using the B Bella Cosmetics Fairy Dust Palette. I've been obsessed with this palette, you guys. I got it at IMAX, and I've been using it as my highlighting palette ever since. I am super, super, super obsessed with it. I cannot stop using it. Um, this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it from my previous video. It's absolutely stunning. If you want to see swatches and stuff like that, look in my IMAX haul. That has swatches of this beauty. I'm going to go ahead and just use, I think I'm going to use these two colors today since I'm doing more of like an orange look. I'm just going to do more of a gold with a uh, kind of more white frost kind of. I'm going to use my Real Techniques highlighting brush that I love to use. My camera decided to die on me so, so 
So I went ahead and just applied the highlighter. I also went ahead and sprayed some Fix Plus and some MAC Charge Water to finish off this look. But yeah, so that's the finished look, you guys. Um, this is what I decided to come up with using the Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette. Absolutely love this palette, you guys. I think it's amazing quality and everything is on point. The more metallic color, so it really isn't any shimmer color, it's just more of kind of like a metallic color. Those applied beautifully, both with a dry brush and wet with Fix Plus. The matte, the matte shades blend out beautifully. They have so much color payoff. This whole palette is amazing. I highly um, suggest checking out their website and even their Instagram to kind of see what they have. They have different kind of palettes. Like I said, I have the green one, which is their very first palette they came out with, which is all neutral, warm shades. If you are a neutral warm person, you will love that palette. This one I bought because it's a little more out of my comfort zone. I necessarily wouldn't buy a palette this kind of versatile. I feel like this has a very different amount of colors, but they all complement each other really well. You can definitely create different looks with this. So definitely, definitely recommend checking out this site if you are looking for affordable, well-made eyeshadows. It's just kind of normal size eyeshadow pans. This is 12 eyeshadows and I paid $25 for it, but I did use a 10% off discount code. That is why, but it is originally $28, which I still think is really great for the kind of pigmentation and the color payoff you're getting. But yeah, so that's pretty much the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys have any, you know, su tutorial suggestions that you guys want to see, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to do a requested video. Um, I'm almost at 500 subscribers, you guys. I so yeah, once I get to 500, I am going to do a small giveaway. It's not going to be anything huge. Um, I just feel like 500 is one of my milestones that I have finally almost reached so once I hit 500 I will do a small small giveaway um, and then when I reach a thousand it's gonna be a bigger giveaway so yes um, thank you guys all for watching again if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button yeah so until next video guys I will see you soon bye